<laughs> well, <laughs> I'm on my Chromebook. <laughs> Hello, friends and foes and and trolls and anybody lurking. Let's see here. On the telephone. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, that looks extremely weird. <laughs> These glasses do too. Well, <laughs> there's how to do your own artwork. This is my Chromebook. This is the, the artwork I'll use. <laughs> I'm on my Chromebook. I have no idea where to look. Hi, Kim. Hey, Dun Duns. It's good to see you guys. Kim, I hope you're okay. Silver Wing. You and Janie's. Oh, guys, I want to look around here. This is my silly Chromebook. It looks weird. Okay. I, first of all, saw someone who passed away. Uh, a couple of pictures to show in here. Okay, somebody. <laughs> I need a notebook. I need paper. This is driving me crazy. I've always had a notebook around. Where'd y'all go? Frustration within. Oh man, come on with that job. I do nothing. Always. Have nothing. Always. Oh. It's Tom Burger. I'm on my phone, but I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. I must not forget my YouTube content. <laughs> In case Spirit Finder gets terminated. <laughs> don't forget my content. Because <laughs> I probably could be terminated anytime on Spirit Finder. Someone named. Okay, now we don't have a pen. This is ridiculous. Remember, this is something very valuable. You used to have to check this out. You used to have, there was a time, it should be in here, that you would have to, oh, that's right, the joy gave me this. A time when I worked for the library and you had the card catalog things in the back. This was considered a, uh, love you, son. What you up to? I told you it was too quiet in there. Oh, gotcha. See how we talk around here? We just, <laughs> this isn't like, I don't like a term. <laughs> back in the days when I worked for the library, you know, you couldn't, this book was so valuable, but you couldn't check it out. Uh, can learn a lot in here. Maybe this is how to avoid copy strikes. <laughs> I'm just throwing <laughs> I'm just spitballing here. Uh, maybe oh, I'm lurking. This time of this lurking. So I'm on this, so I can do this. I don't know how to lurk on that. I'm lurking. I'm a lurker. It's part of my catchphrase. Brandon throwing hair and throwing hair. The lurking is like a caper of the neighborhood. A little hooded, hooded person. Okay, I don't even know what's going on over here with these uh, camera garbage. I see a dot up there. And I love you right where you are. Over here. Yes, I do. And I hope you all well. I mean, uh, I love everybody. They think I don't. But this you had to stay in the library. But if everybody learned this and used it on YouTube, you could avoid TOS thingies. <laughs> you might get lucky with above 80%. Not to be copy struck. If everybody was just signing to one another, YouTube would have to come up with some sort of grand theory. Think about it, boys. Think about that. It's a nice strategy. How to avoid a YouTube copy strike. This. <laughs> like uh, Latisha Collins Serving used to do. <laughs> okay, I'm a weirdo. All right. Still ain't done my purple glasses. Someone named. <laughs> do I know who they are? No. Don't have any clue why they would come to Snapchat. Let's see here now. Can I tell the truth? This small cord is stupid. Okay. On the phone. I've been on Snappy Chat thingy. Where is it? <laughs> I still don't know how to use some of this stuff. Wait a minute. A screenshot. I have no idea. There it is. This person here asked me to add them to Snapchat. Right there. <laughs> Needless to say, I didn't accept it, see? <laughs> Somebody had to be lurking my Snapchat, which is very, very boring. There's nothing there. <laughs> I'm going to tell it. <laughs> okay, we lurk on that object. Okay, okay. Put the notebook down and lurk. <laughs> the first thing I want to cover, though, is the people that I've been speaking upon that may, maybe, I can find out in a moment. Oh, the dog, my Mason dog. Oh, Mason. I'm <laughs> Actually, it was Forest County. Oh, I got Forest. I got my dog. And the person I was only talking to was someone who hates me, Susan Capiche. She can verify that when I was getting this dog. Why is she named Mason? I've said it before. <laughs> That's what I like to study because it makes absolutely no difference. sense. <laughs> Let me hear. Okay, we turn to the table of content. Ooh, ooh. Go on down to Dead Burn Ridiculous here. Page 148, chapter 19. <laughs> My dog is named after them. <laughs> yes, we call her Macy. She's female, but guarantee 110%. As information content floats around, my dog is named after the Freemasons and Disney. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> Walt Disney was a Freemason. George Washington was. <laughs> yeah. So don't forget if the spirit gets terminated. This little thing right here. <laughs> yeah, <whoa. laughs> I've videoed this since people were making fun of me at the beginning of my YouTube channel. That's true. On the beginning of Spirit Finder, there's no denying videos locked down, struck, or deleted. I have videoed this the entire time on Spirit Finder. The knowledge of this. The illumination, the things we went through, it doesn't matter how you sugarcoat it. Uh, this right here is what they're mocking. Look at my painted fingernails clipped. Clipped. <laughs> that right there is an inversion mirror multiverse of mockery of the three in here. You might want to look at first John 5 7. You might want to look at all that. Your world gives you weird content like me to learn, to be weirdo, to be different. Like me losing my pen already. Not again. <laughs> I need a studio basement. My like Shannon. Uh, yeah, she's on the board, but not yet. Okay. When you take content and play with it, it's yours. 
Hey, the great sale of the United States, which is absolutely true. This sale. <laughs> Go on and watch Nicolas Cage in uh, National Treasure. They speak upon this. If Nicolas Cage can bury himself in a triangle, I am not crazy yet. <laughs> it's burial inside the triangle, man. <laughs> so this content's different and weird. It doesn't mean it's dramatical. There's no way around that anybody that ever watched me, liked me, loved me, hated me, tolerated those little phrases I use, love me, hate me, tolerate me, love me, hate me, tolerate me. I never go watch Captain Kangaroo or click off watch Captain Kangaroo. I said that forever. I just aged. My brain aged. The content right there is Mickey Mouse. Known fact how significant this is in Hollywood. I don't know what the world's made. You got this emoji on your little emoji keyboards, and uh, the world wasn't awake to the knowledge that, that the entire Disney industry, he's a Freemason. I named my dog after it. They're in here. <laughs> and what he studied and predicted is. <sighs> Unbelievably true. I'll have to put that back up on the uh, compound center. I mean, the, community, <laughs> the community post, just because it's different material on YouTube, doesn't make me a psychopath. <laughs> like the evil people want to. No. Mm -mm. I believe maybe one of Shannon's parodies probably has your weather modification now. She made fun of me of. Corey's got filming, who I don't even bother or think about. In my house. She knew me before I ever knew her or anything about her. She decided to make fun of our life. I've expressed this a thousand times. I hate Saturday Night Live. Parodies are, to me, dehumanizing someone. People see it the way they want to see it. I knew nothing of it. Let's be serious about this. As if she was sitting in my tin can. That woman bothered me. People laughed about it because they didn't know that I cannot stand that silly elementary nonsense. It was me that was made fun of. She had to be watching me. She's the type of female that's looking out the window as a nosy neighbor. Get him. That's get him. Mm -hmm. So anyway, this thing right here, I videoed this for years. At the cost of losing everything. As you see, it's a pyramidal system. You need to think of medical, mental, and psychiatry. And that's part of that. You have the musical industry on your life, moving up to the movie industry. And the other side would be the epic social media capital of the world, New York. And then we all remember 2020. Watch that down. All on the pyramid scheme. Then on the third part of this, the knowledge is the Egyptian pyramid hieroglyphics. It can never be duplicated. They never have any will. And the knowledge of the third in here. On that. Once again in school, boys and girls, my content is weird, yet it is factual. And very intellectually challenging. If you want to learn, love me, hate me, tolerate me, or learn something from me, or click off and watch Gabby Kangaroo. These people just always want to make fun of us. They can think about it all day. I'm not subservient to those evil people like they think. So once again, you ask yourself as a fact. Is it factual? I'm a realist. I like, I like facts. And when I get them about myself, that don't mean I like it. But actually, I can calm myself out. It doesn't matter where you put the Illuminati pyramid in your life. You and I and this entire planet must build a foundation. There's no really on the isosceles. It's not a degree angle. You have the freaking medical industry in your life. You have the psychology industry in your life. You know, and this pharmaceutical industry. All there. In completion as one. In 2020, it failed, right? Did that system fail? This is what we try to teach. That other people mock and scoff and make fun of. Passing husbands. Okay. <laughs> Did the film industry. Uh, steal your rights from going into a theatrical film. Right. Yeah, the music industry. Give you links to watch music. Yeah, and the entirety begins in the social media capital of the world, called New York. In this society today, this is a book, you can read it. <laughs> when something happened in 2020 in the world, <laughs> really, that didn't need to be there, though. Like Shannon's, though, it's useless. It's, it's really irrelevant for this book. For logic, you don't really need it. You don't. When our 2020 system of 19 and on, it completely de just debilitated the world. Right? Mm -hmm. Then down here, you've got your like the psychology industry and the medical, the psych, the medical pharmaceutical, the music industry, the movie industry, and where from the social media capital of the world. And nowhere around the side. YouTube don't like it. Once this affected the world, there's a DIS that happened. This became disordered. And so we must create this. That's why I talk about totalitarianism and school and uh, remaining in six foot distancing and other things like this. In order for this to have come in this book, it's out there. What we all went through, everybody on the same playing field. Okay? It became disorder. So something had to happen to create order. Read this. We had to do things afresh and anew. You get your book out. You turn to Revelation of the Prophecy. Revelation 21, 1 and 2. Our world is a mockery of my Savior and his word. If you can prove it, like Paul says, it's a fact. Sometimes you don't need the word of God to prove a fact. You don't. My translation is King James Bible and will be till I'm deceased. And as Revelation 21 begins, we'll come back. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Why? For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, new Jerusalem. That becomes a fact. This makes this factual. Right there. You'll have an askew version because man wrote this and man wrote this. We won't have the finality until the end. Number three. Right there. And I saw a new, new, new heaven <laughs> and a new earth. And the first earth was passed away. And there was no more need for sea. Because Jesus is the last ethereal. He's the last living water. We will not need to drink water anymore. And in your world today, it's about 80% of your chemical makeup. Okay. And I, John, saw the holy city, new Jerusalem. Okay, this is right. 99.9, get my content, this is 99.4. All right, I'll teach you this And if we need another backup plan, in my teaching, my oddities, which is not so odd after all. Shannon made fun of it. Somehow it's still true. Mm-hmm, poor little thingy. 
Oh, so funny. My translation of the first letter of General John, the first John 5, 7. You can read the one after two. 5, 7, for there are three. <laughs> That's the industries that make fun of my Lord and Savior. Music, movies, yes, and the epicenter capital of the world. Makes fun of this. Disney makes fun of this. It's not bothering the crayon. Music wrong. on. First John 5, 7, for there are three. That bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. And this, this is a earthly financial book you buy and learn about things. This is an earthly book, financial you buy things. This is still the top seller and the most shoplifted. The most shoplifted books of Bible. Facts. <laughs> so I teach that kind of garbage. And if you want to put it up there again, in here, we are told everybody needs money. The world needs money. The love of it. What's this plastered on again? What's this icon here? What's this letterhead posted on? This says the love of money is the root of all evil. Not needing money, having money, having any riches. It's the love of it. Like, like MacArthur states, you can have a little and still love it. And somehow it's plastered right there for you. Money. You need to get a copy of this book. Make sure you read your copy properly on this one. And if you don't like the King James translation, that's cool and dandy. What's wrong with reading it anyway? How many books do we read? Yeah. And there's that fun fact. That is things I teach that got me fun of. Because it's brilliant. And their brilliancy is below the IQ level. <laughs> so they have to make fun of it. Because somehow they didn't even know it. <laughs> Weirdos. For anybody to call me a weirdo, a mind that's trying to work is a learning, intelligent thought. It's not a dumb thought to learn, to gain wisdom and knowledge. Remember the wisdom book, <laughs> Proverbs. <laughs> oh, let me see. So I like to laugh at them as well. Why not? <laughs> uh, a lot of these individuals that I will eventually lurk upon have something in common. I understand, yet do not live. Have I lost my glasses again? A lot of people turn their backs on me on YouTube when the content didn't fit their narrative. Well, I've never, I've never thought on a chopping platter that their content is just that, YouTube. They didn't like what we had to say. It's okay, everything they said. But we have to take accountability for all the negativity that we've done. They don't like to hear their flaws. <laughs> they don't like to be told, let me tell you something, weirdo. <laughs> they, don't, they don't like that kind of trash. It's like, look at the background of a trailer. <laughs> That's going to get her there. <laughs> no, they really won't. <laughs> but by God, we'll try time and time again. All right, let's see. Let's go back in time here to lurk. I taught... I believe, now the first parody of Shannon's I've never seen. Other people played it. Other people played it. I think she made fun of, uh, in one of them, I know she made fun of the Bible when I said everything's, everything you need is in there. Oh yeah, if she took videos down, that woman has stuff up that says, shove the Bible up your ass. Yes, she did. Yes, what a great, powerful, frivolous, miserable female. Great mom. <laughs> God, Something I know she made fun of. Through your great kind of time continuum, I, I can video whatever I want to, man. They just don't want me on this platform. And I think I went over that before. This is not a platform. No, it's YouTube. <laughs> you know? Do I need to do the definition of platform again? <laughs> All right, somebody like her has to make fun. Most of them have to make fun of intelligent, brilliant content. In one of her parodies, I know for a fact that she made fun of this. However, it exists. <laughs> yeah. Somehow or another, it exists. But, you know, I mean, <laughs> the lady that sits under the carport, somebody needs to tell her that it's filthy. I'm just, I'm just letting you know what my family said. Very under there. <laughs> and her right away sucks, man. Concrete breakage and stuff. Lord, Lord, you ever seen her, her, her fireplace? It's crooked as an arrow. You can see the whole sheetrock breaking. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Stay out of my garbage. <laughs> no Gmails to lurk. I put a 007 funny up the other day to get down. Just for her. <laughs> and then I put up iced tea's colors. Just for her. <laughs> Didn't tag her. What I did want to show here, which is sad. Uh, none of this YouTube nonsense will ever matter in the scheme of the whole scoreboard of what no one else teaches. Eternity. Your eternal identity once you're deceased. I teach it. I get made fun of. They don't want to hear it. But somehow or another, you lost somebody once again. I subscribe to them. In this here screenshot, which you get a the screenshot. There's that one. There's this one. There's my dog. Screenshot. You lost this individual. On this notational screenshot, four days ago, they typed, I keep getting asked the reason I dropped off YouTube. Now, this shows four days ago. And they're gone. And remember, no one teaches in your DC about eternity except me. If that's to be made fun of because of our biblical translation, and what's written in here, it will be 10 out of 10, guaranteed. Loss. Four days ago, and they're gone. That's how quick it will be with a frivolous cesspool of stupidity on a social media webpage to prove something that's nothing in the end. For God's sake, hear us, man. You don't want to do it, that's fine with you. We're going to teach it and teach it until you see it again. And feel your sins against God. Four days ago, the individual writes, the same week I was told I fish the same week I was told I was officially stage four. Once again, I keep getting asked, what a terrible thing that we need to dwell on, yet something absolutely heavenly. Asking why they need to leave YouTube. They've left the world. 
That is why I teach this so tenaciously, so stern, so bold. To the anger surge uh-huh. in you so hard, you'll finally see it. Next time, it just might be you. You keep it up against God, it will be you. Guaranteed. Will it matter then? How much YouTube? How important it is to be correct and liked on YouTube? This individual's mind and body was going to die. And they're speaking their last spoken words about YouTube. Not when I say, do you really know him? Don't say it unless you really do. That's bold, stern, realism, and really it will be true. You're not looking for loss. It will find you. Don't worry. It's going to find you, regardless what you do. The same week that I was told I was officially stage four, I was attacked in chats. Remember, your individual here is deceased. This is four days. It might be a little off concerning you two. This is what I teach right here. The majority of all content that matters. Your dying spirit, mind, body, and soul. You are going to pass. Are you ready? Not chatting words. It's bold. It's stern. It's hard to hear. Yet, it's reality. Again, you already had two, right? How come everybody took those vlogs down, if I'm not mistaken? Anything that pertained to Mary or Kit Kat, why did it come down? Because the conscious restraint was wrong. The parenting restraint was wrong. God's restraint was wrong. Everything. And legally wrong. So they all took it down. So when we put stuff up now, it still is the same truth. I love it. And the whole scheme of our minute, short little lives. And that's not mocking this individual. It is an example. They are past. They are gone. And you have an example here of how much YouTube mattered and how people was treated. I say it all the time. I say it all the time. You say whatever you want to say about this family, you're going to say it anyway. Think what you want to, man, because you're going to think it anyway. You're going ahead and type, type, type away. You're going to type it anyway. And in the end, he shall pass as well. We get a glimpse into the life of someone passing unto death, concerned about people chatting on YouTube. This is where the tears should fall. This. Not because somebody's talking about you or how you live. And they write, it's very, uh, very ominous, like an omen. You get to see the glasses, the lens, as they actually type the end. And that speaks volumes. Please make sure you are right with the one you call God. Nobody's job but yours. Your friends can't do it. Your subscribers can't do it. Social media sites can't do it. Your school, your home, your bricks, your mortar, your perfection, your imperfections will not spare you from passing. So how important in the whole yet again, God that I'm talking to, how much I matter. I've taught this too. And everybody just keeps going at it, just like I say all the time, just like John MacArthur I put it. I'm a YouTube media people chase themselves for pleasure under death. Doesn't matter who this was. Both women that was deceased in the very same thing, they were right on the tube, as well as I am. Really mentally ill here, this stuff is, folks. Truth be told, I was attacked in chats by some so-called friends. A video of that forever. People will trade you out. They will use you. They will abuse you. They don't give a fine rip. And friend ends with the end. If you've got plenty of them, it ends, and they're gone. You're not trampling on the deceased. You're seeing life for what it really is. No turning back. No way to rewind. No way to fix. Nothing. You're gone. I know that's hard to hear, but it's, it's not a friend not to hear it. It's not somebody that doesn't care to say this and be hated for it because it's reality. Now it's reality. You can't go back. There's no do-overs. For it is appointed for man once to die, then judgment. Book of Hebrews. For it is appointed for man once to die, then judgment. Just like in your anesthetic. I video this. You're under anesthesia. You come back up. There's that fun fact. That is the analogy. That is your metaphor in the word of God. Adam's deep sleep. It is your knowledge into a view of how judgment will be as well. Like an anesthetic surgery. And so you wake up, but the world's asleep. And God knew to write that down somewhere. That to put Adam in a deep sleep, our whole world is asleep on anything it can be addicted to, except the addiction to know. It is appointed for man once to die, then judgment. Look at Hebrews. I was attacked in chats by some so-called friends. People that I consider my friend, I will privately go and find them if possible, ask them questions, leave them a little love chop here and there. Mm-hmm. That is verifiable too. The whole world doesn't need to know who I video to, type to. No. I do that in the privacy of their own social media sites and trust. If I don't do it, they've walked away. They're, they're gone. That's cool, man. One day they'll have to really walk away. All right, down here says, I was attacked in chats by some so-called friends. So-called friends. For apparently supporting the wrong people. The end. That's a... Uh, one of those moons, it's called the liar's moon, kind of ending, the end. And now it is. Just like a bookends. Just like bookends that you squeeze together called bookends. This is reality. I'm a realist. I don't know about this narcissism jazz that people use, man. Now you have reality of what I teach on my channel that the evil despises. The end. You can go on YouTube and see if this is a lie, because it's not. And mankind is numbing everybody down more and more. We're all guilty of this to be humanized. You can do what you want to on camera when they're not like a human being. You're talking to the camera, you're seeing people in a little chat thingy. 
you know, humans right there. I'm not one to necessarily read my chat, and this is a Chromebook. I can see better. Well, I might not. There's a couple of people in there that matter not to me. Once. One iota. Okay, you just scrape that off. Okay, so that's pretty sad. There's my visiting dog again. So she is truly named after the Freemasons and Disney. Uh, I've spoken up on um, all those little gym things. That's how much they weigh if you move them over and over for the ad machine for this. Okay, anyway, uh, I spoke up on uh, how many people on YouTube are using Gypsy Rose for content. I'm not using Gypsy Rose here for content. I'm using Gypsy Rose pictures so you can be educated on children's. You hear my, my mouth? All right. I'm using Gypsy Rose here for proof and evidence of children's. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. If you look at Gypsy, she had to have her uh, a partial mate for her teeth. Mine will eventually crack, break, and cause meth coming from children's. What her mother done to her? Deplorable. What she asked Goody John to do? Deplorable. Nobody gets a free pass anymore. No, they don't. All right? If you look at Gypsy's skin very close, you'll see her dry hair. She's not talking about her bones. But if you look really close at her eye, you'll see it droops like mine. One of mine does the same. Your skin, look at her skin, it's not fresh. It's just like this. I got some better than I did. All day. All day doing this. All day. Water will never suffice children's. Ever. Ever. All day you got a toothbrush near you, gum, mints, tic tacs. And I don't think Gypsy has mass cell activation. But that's the only reason I'm speaking on Gypsy Rose, like these other people will try to make money off her. I'm trying to educate you about showgirls concerning Gypsy. That's it. It's with a PayPal link. Uh, you can look closely. If she has makeup on, it's so minute it would be earth tones here. And maybe some mascara, but not not no. This girl has showgirls. What her mother done to her? She's a pure look how swollen her face is. The girl has a grin gland insufficiency. You mess with the salivary glands, you mess with something out of the body with showgirls, it's gonna affect every aspect of your life. It won't interfere with it. It will debilitate it. Yes, it will. And then her mama messed with her gastro system, right? Well, got my... <laughs> it's, it's, it's almost a mirror image of yourself. Her belly is wrong. I'm getting a telephonic interview all the way from Tulane for mine. That's the only reason Gypsy Rose is coming up on my channel. They'll do it for money. Or some sort of clout. For educational purposes, you can look many pictures up. When you pull out, you can see how puffy she is. That's a dwindling insufficiency due to Sjogren's. For knowledge. If you see Gypsy cry, it will be a rarity. She'll have a good physician. The girl had to get a partial. All of her teeth fell out. You can see by her skin, her eyes. If she's wearing contacts, she won't for long. She's just young like I was and did not know what it was. You didn't ever hear her sit around speaking about showgirls. Gypsy Rose has showgirls. By what her mother done to her. What I teach. The law restraint that never stuck their nose in this valley. Appropriately. The God restraint was never by that mother. The parenting restraint. The law restraint. The conscious restraint. All of them affected this woman. And she will affect it too. She has children. She's probably already screwing up out in this world. That's the parenting restraint. That nobody else can teach because they're too worried about being a parent for your child. I mean, let's be honest here. These silly laden women that bother me. They think they're great mothers. They're moms. We all are, but they try to mother. Uh, that Angela Stevens guy tries to father Scotty when he didn't even have a father that wanted him. That's not my problem. They make their problems yours and your problems theirs. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and then ask God for help. They can't stand it when people are standing up and calling it out, Jack. They hate it. <laughs> if we have an OG drama community individual ever watching this, they know I carry cups around all the time. All the time. Before the diagnosis of Sjogren's. Glasses, chairs. I always had glasses around, freaky dinky cups, man. Chairs. <laughs> and if you listen closely, if this Rose girl ever does interviews or vlogs, listen to her altered vocal cords. Sjogren's. Nobody can go back and hear me in 16, 17, 18, and then some and say, her voice is different. Because it is. That's Sjogren's. You got that fat basement lover calling me Munchausen, sitting in a basement. <laughs> I mean, let's call it like it is. This woman used to talk. Listen, Zachers, the woman talked to flowers and freaking tablecloths and walls. <laughs> and then show identity when she was making fun of me. That's all the woman has left. That's it. If she's got her little books, that won't satisfy that woman. She's unsatisfiable. <laughs> Shannon is a, a miserable female. She doesn't know what to do. <laughs> she called Jamie out forever. She hurt one of my friends, too, named Lauren. Yeah, she did. She's notorious for being a goof night, man. <laughs> There's not much to say about it, except it's just there. <laughs> but so is the garbage. <laughs> Shoot, man. <laughs> Listen, do what you want to do with it. <laughs> I guess she thinks because her hair is pretty that she has identity now. Hair identification. <laughs> Tell Stevens, hairism. <laughs> I do always says redneckism. <laughs> Stay on my garbage. All right, let's look around here now. Let me get out of here. I remember doing a discernment call on uh, the film Wonka. That's going to get great reviews and profits will skyrocket. Let's just check that's that quote. You'll get it out tomorrow. Oh, and that's <laughs> prequel. Budget, 125 million, box office, 531.8. It'll surpass that tomorrow. Books, music, and movies. No idea what the profits were until now. I just love the film. Profits of uh, Aquaman, I videoed about, will go up. They know what they're doing. They know exactly Warner knows what they're doing when they released with it. Let's just check that out. All right. A lot of symbolism in your films of DC and MC, I assure you. Disney can't hide anymore. They're just there. They do it. 
Last time I checked was a while back. I don't know. But profits should have already surpassed the budget now. And they did. 205 to 215. You look at my YouTube community post unless I took it down. That Warner knew what they was doing. They're now 396.2 and climbing. Warner knew what they was doing. Will it reach the billion? Probably not. But you don't have Blu-ray yet. You don't have this kind of crap to buy the film. And that's got rocketed. It was a box office flop. But other films come out at the same time. And you look at my YouTube community post. Books, music, and movie. These are my favorite things to do. Books. <laughs> music. Right there. Play today. Books. Music and movies. And it's different content, and they just make fun of it because they didn't know how to do it. Shannon make fun of her own foot, but she has foot and mouth disease. Okay, that woman cuts my intelligence to the level of ridiculousness, so she has to cut it down. They all do. It is not dumb content; it's brilliant content that they know I'm a free channel, and they can mock and scoff it. Who cares? They don't know nothing. <laughs> they, they rarely teach anything that's a individual. You, you only hear about somebody else's life. You only hear about somebody else's life, not theirs, which is miserable. And they know they are. All right, look around. Get out of that garbage. Well, let's check my Gmail first. No, nope. get out of there. I hate that when it comes up like that. We're just lurking here. Will I respond to the majority of it? No, I won't. I'll laugh at it. All right, let's go back and see you now. After my drunken stupor. Oh, let me see this. Oh, yeah, I, I did when I was doing something else. There's one of the people I'll never get. <laughs> Let me my friend. Oh, boy. All right, we shall go anywhere in my garbage. We're going to check the notification bell. If she exists, if she don't, good. Great. Stupid, man. Done. Okay, in my notification, looks like three days ago, you have a lady called Plain Jane. It's click channel, right? You have nothing from this email. You've seen her dog. And that's intelligent. No, it's not. It's the channel. That's mine. And it's strikeable. Yes, it is. Terminatable. No free strikes. They can terminate it instantly with this kind of crap. <laughs> now you can. Mm -hmm. People know how to strike the uh, YouTube uh, community post now. That's why all of those scared people on YouTube that have the big nails ran to rumble. That's why. I mean, never tell me my rumble. As long as I have a few people, I'm fine. You don't need a pack of lies. <laughs> Wait, I'm a some subscribers. If you had a thousand subs, a thousand people didn't type under your video. I assure you, <laughs> this will be a reality. Uh, um, yeah. If you, I got 12,000 subs. <laughs> 12,000 people didn't comment to you. <laughs> I have I had 4,000 views, Tammy Lynn. You didn't have 4,000 people typing to you, dummy. <laughs> so hang on for the roller coaster ride. Now, let's see what kind of female playing Jane is. Do, 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 do. Okay, the video here can definitely be struck. That's content, it's visible, it's right there. These two, we can get, oh, yeah, there's plenty of that right there. I could give this a share now, and the channel will be gone. I'm not even kidding. You, you can't do this. I don't care what they think. Well, what we can do, they're so frivolous people, and they're celestial. Wish I could. <laughs> if you take it down, we said this before, if you take a channel down, uh, excuse me, if you take a uh, vlog down, if YouTube, on a private vlog, that's locked down or unlisted with links, if YouTube can take care of business on private vlogs, <laughs> now, uh, I assure you, computer skill knowledge people would know how to do this. They're gone. All they're doing, this woman's just testing it. Now let's see her life. Let's look at Plain Jane's channel. Let's find out what kind of woman she is. But lean in, Plain Jane, you're up. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to learn how cool, satisfied, content, life, marriage, relationships, children, soul, home. We're going to go on this channel. And we're going to look. I'm not subscribed myself, but other than that, <laughs> this is what we'll do. Let's see here. Videos. Okay, let me see how much oh. my channel's doing. Let me see how good my channel's doing. <laughs> okay, there I am. Damn. Oh, yeah, this is great. Oh, we see nothing about her miserable existence. She lives my life. Thank you, Plain Jane. Keep putting them up. You're welcome for the subscribers, too. <laughs> <laughs> how many you got there, baby doll? Because you're trying to be me. Okay, let's see, sweetheart. How many you got? Because I don't know. Uh, it should say Tammy via Plain Jane. Because this channel is me. <laughs> she has 603 subscribers. Can you believe I've done that? <laughs> Plain Jane, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, you are welcome, that your cop. Keep scribing again and again. Let me, <laughs> let me go on here in the community post and see what the hell. Ah, an hour ago. Okay. Damn, please hold on. Please, damn, put your crazy on hold for a few hours. That's an hour ago. I do nothing that anyone tells me that makes fun of me. Do you understand? I will never do what you want, dear. Ever. Ever. Because you're crazy for using a crazy, dummy. I don't care what's going on, Plain Jane. You don't own me. You do not own me, lady. Nobody tells me what to do. Forget it, weirdo. This is how I prove it to them. I do not watch these weirdos. Whatever I said today, this lady heard. I didn't mention her name. I just said there's people. And there you have it. I don't know anything about a crazy for a few hours, but nobody tells me what to do, woman. Who do you think you are? Wrong girl. There's a little thing called a telephone, plain Jane, that you could have called. You weird old women is what I'm speaking upon. Me crazy? Lady, my number's out there, my Gmail's out there, and you choose to put a community post up. You're the crazy one, lady. And I'll never do what you want me to do. Ever. This is the way they I think. Mean, this is testing it and proving it. I'm proving to this woman. I'm not sitting around watching them. I see it because it's here. <laughs> How much do we got to tell these women that not everybody reads their trash community post and calls me crazy? 
I don't call your whole channel so I'm crazy, so deal with it, sucker. You ain't telling me nothing, buddy. What you ever tell me what to do, you fool? Ooh. You trying to be IFB? Move along. Your channel's there because of me. You're welcome. We're women. This is what I'm talking about. Complete craziness. I have a video going and have to play the piano a second time today for the elderly, and this woman thinks I'm going to sit around and look at her YouTube community post. May! <laughs> How long ago was this? I don't know. An hour ago. Okay, down here. This is the line of Judah. I don't care if she's the ship. None of this matters nothing to me. I don't know what these people are doing. All I'm trying to say here is what they do is for punkin', for money, attention, subscribers, and views. They've done punk with my family too much. Nobody tells me what to do. You've already played enough basketball, but I won the tournament, little girl. Take your channel anytime you want to, crazy weirdo. Nobody tells me what to do, girl. No way. No way. No way. And all I'm saying is that I'm proving this. They believe in whatever, whatever Xana do they live in. That everyone in their DC is sitting there looking upon everybody's YouTube community post. No, I do not. No, I don't. This is the first time I've seen this fruit in a long time. What they're doing, I don't know. There's a spiritfinder987 at gmail.com, Jane. There's a telephone of 601 249, little girl. 6759 to have spoken instead of doing some frivolous garbage like this. This is stupid. You think every day that I look at you, you're a fool, man. You're the narcissist, little girl. I haven't looked at you in God knows how long, woman. And if you tag me, they were off. <laughs> I'm not like these people. I'm genuinely not at all like they think I am. Okay? Anyway, she's using me. She ain't got nothing on there. She's got me. It's my channel. There is no term of service that will save this girl when we terminate her. These people have played with my family for far too long. Their feelings? <clears throat> a prayer is a difference to follow sin. This woman follows everything I do. Good for you, little girl. Thank you for adoring me, weirdo. <laughs> and they can't handle that. They think their channels are superior with my content on it. I can laugh at myself there, Janie Boo. <laughs> like plain yogurt, little girl. <laughs> in the name of God. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. This is a proof in the pudding. Okay, I video this morning. I had to go play the enter. I finished up with that. I changed my outfit. I put my hair up. I walked about a mile to the gym. Laid on bed. Come back to my trailer. And said, I'll look at their channels later. This is later for me. She was never a thought in my head until I looked at it on the notification bell. However, their side of the spectrum of IQs that aren't working right. <laughs> minds that aren't working right. That there are people that they make fun of. And Raymond that just don't sit all day wondering what little Jane Jane's doing. <laughs> you gotta prove it, man. Good Lord. It's whatever. Ain't nobody can tell me what to do. God can't. Well, well, listen, y'all are my family. These people, I don't know these weirdos. They don't even identify. These channels are mine, William. My content is on it. They think they can get around for this forever. No, they can't. No, they can't. They think they can't. <laughs> and it's funny. So we're going to go back to funny. Because these women have no self-identity. There's no way they can hate me by using my content. I entertain them. I give them money, attention, subscribers, and views. Something I don't care about. I don't need money. Flash in front of people's faces. You know their go-to for that. Is I don't have no PayPal link down there. No, but their idiotic friends do. They do this to please their friends. And it runs back and piggybacks back to the ones that drop their money train. And they know it. And they know I know it. I may live here, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> and it's funny. But this chick adores me. Go down here. Right, three days ago, man, jump back, Charlie. The queen of parodies is at it again. <laughs> Shannon made another parody. Watch out, Jack. What else do you want to shut down again? <laughs> I said this this morning. These people need you. I don't need these people. Speaking their name, they think you need them. When every one of them came in my life, how insignificant in the whole picture they genuinely are. Yes. In my life, I'm not like their friends. What do they do get up every freaking day, folks, and scurry around looking at people's community? <laughs> I put mine up and I took it down. There's that fun fact. If I put a video up and take it down, it's my channel. Her channel's mine, too. <laughs> I entertain them somewhat, and what they'll do is take the entertainment, twist it to make fun of you. These people have done worse for worse for wear, okay? I don't wish the lady harm in her life. I don't hope any of her dogs die or a bus on the front of a semi-grill hits her face. But in the scheme of life, this individual means nothing to me. I mean everything to her. So she created a channel based on this. Me. I don't care if you laugh at me, make fun of us. You're so down here in my intellect. You see this and think my intellect is low. Oh, no, 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 no. It's up there, Jack, because you're using me. Why don't you try somebody that's boring? See how far you get, Jane? <laughs> like yourself. <laughs> you guys are who, what, when, why, how method. Why would somebody do this? We do not care what people think about us. <laughs> but yet, they do. You can't even say their cockamamie name without freaking out and having two babies for twins after a C-section. <laughs> so hip, hip, hooray for Jane playing Jane's channel with mine. It's so funny. But I knew it was so. And then I'd have to scurry like a scoundrel on that lady's channel. The last time I was ever there. <laughs> Same time to go down after unlocking. Uh, I'm going to go down to the community post and see when I ever. I'm all over the place. That's all she's got is me. Sad. Hey, anything they want, I'll be there. Okay. I don't even remember when I looked at this lady's channel. This is something on Thanksgiving. Never seen it in my life. If I did, don't remember. I don't care. This cat here. Never seen this cat a day in my life on her channel. This YouTube community post. I've never seen this. Ever. But they apparently believe that you do. Hmm? They have to. Okay. Uh, go on down here and oldie. I think I remember this. The no toys for tots 
photoshopped picture of myself on Grinch. Okay, after that, nothing, lady. Sorry, you're seeking the attention from somebody that you're using me. Don't forget that. You exist on YouTube because of me. It is not narcissistic. You made it narcissistic, plain Jane. You made it wonderfully narcissistic for me to say that. At the end of the day, with that being said, triggered, the narrative was written. <laughs> and they'll call me a demon. Whilst they use demon material. You don't hang around with the demonic kingdom, plain Jane. Just a little bit of a heads up there. <laughs> You kind of do an adverse reaction, honey buns. You sort of turn and walk away, dear, or and said, iPhone thingy, you're out of there. <laughs> you think I'm going to waste one breath watching anything that I've already videoed? <laughs> this, is a, this is a humor that they give me. I, I like it. It, it. It's so invigorating to know that they need you, man. It's weird that this channel has reached enough to live stream. But their own identity is me. Good, bad, or ugly. Positive or negative. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> You just gotta get that girl feeling, right? All right. Anyway, I don't know what they're doing there, but they did lose somebody again. Under that, this is how they do the rotating system, apparently, on the spectrum. They, looks like Jane took a vlog of Shannon and placed it on hers, so the subs and money will go up and give credence to whatever they're doing, which is very elementary to me. I don't need these women to video. I never did. They're just, if you say their name, it's like a haunted mansion, man. It really is. My back is killing me from the gym. <laughs> that hard day. What of it? My back is killing me, Will. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take this. I'd be perfect. Half of an 800. <laughs> this, if, if they're trying to do this kind of stuff, just to, uh... Okay, my mind, I'm 54. I, I live where I live by my own right choices and wrong choices. But that doesn't make my mind unintelligent. I, sometimes I can't think on the level because it's so elementary. It is. A clip to me is about as basic, stupid, first-grade dodgeball, pick me, look at me kind of trash. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? And there's no need to tag me because I'll just turn it back off. Is she tagging me or hoping that I saw it? I know I said that driving this morning. Four days. All right. No, there you go. <laughs> oh, Lord God, where am I diabetic? Are they in there? Right there. They look like the rest of them have salt in it. <laughs> Somewhere these people get a, a kick or a thrill. And that's okay. If other people are coming and they're laughing at me, at least they're laughing, man. At least they're not so depressed. They can laugh at something in their superiority tiara. <laughs> I want to be just like Jane. <laughs> you didn't know that. <laughs> you do now. A lady that doesn't have any identity in her life. I want to be just like that, except that's me. <laughs> I get a kick out of it, bro. Don't make me yell at you, man. <laughs> Don't make me yell at you, man. Uh, I always admit I have a bag underneath. I mean, they think I'm. <laughs> they think I'm. A... <laughs> they just sort of popped in there. Hang on. I'm going to have to go see it again, though. Uh, uh, please tell me, for God's sake, that Randy Stewart changed her dead burn group something to Noodle Nation, man. That's ridiculous. Uh, I don't know what you're doing over there. <laughs> I can laugh exactly right with them. <laughs> they certainly don't like to be called out. It drives them cool. <laughs> Isn't her name? I use this a lot. <laughs> when it comes out, I'll be the first one to buy it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is plain Jane because I don't think her noodles working correctly. Oh, what is it? My dog's, my, my dog's dreaming. For a moment, life doesn't seem quite so bad. And the reason it don't seem so bad in her life for that moment is because I'm her moment. I'm her every YouTube moment. Listen wisely again. To music, books, <laughs> music, movies and books. There's music in this. It's called Wonka. That's a movie. <laughs> and this is music. And I'm quite certain you can find many books upon this nature. <laughs> so this part's for Jane. For a moment, life doesn't seem quite so bad. That's what they're doing. For a moment, they are. I kind of forgot to be sad. The majority of these women can relate by using this here soundtrack. Because their brain is very childlike, I'm childlike, we've all acted this out, it's a realistic reality that everybody acts childlike in this community. Mm -hmm. And this song is for a moment. Life didn't seem so bad when they make your channel you. And then for a moment, they forgot to be sad in their misery. Talking about me? When I didn't know this woman, she can never prove I knew her. She can never prove on any video that I ever mentioned her name in the inception of her channel, which is mine. <laughs> If they do it for comedy, it's not in there about section. I can check. <laughs> I'm quite sorry about that. Mm -hmm. We'll see about that. <laughs> As we up. Ain't nobody mad at this one. The beauty of this for my end is I never have to know her. She gets to know me. That makes me more special. I'm special to her. I matter to her. These people think, don't you realize that we're making fun of you? Not anymore. It's not designed that way. You can't do that for a long time. You can only do it to maintain the attention of me. The subscribers you obtain from me. The monetary gain your friends will attain from me. And the views you receive from me. That is the facts. 
moment. Let's keep going. Life doesn't seem quite so bad. Maybe childlike. For a moment. Still true. I kind of forgot to be sad. Every video they do, every female that chooses when I never knew them to use old Tam Tam, this is their song attached to their life. The whole soundtrack is. <laughs> you want to get right down to it? It's kind of content I roll with, man. <laughs> hang on there, plain guy. It's okay. Just hang in there, girl, when you make them clips. <laughs> For a moment, life doesn't seem quite so bad. That's right. For a moment, I kind I of forgot to be sad. I did. He just lied to He is kind of funny. Ain't nobody mad about playing Jane. The truth of the matter is, if she can, not her friends, if she can present when I came into her world first, I'll never look at that channel again. My channel. <laughs> I mean, how educated must we be? To understand this when you sit back and say this channel is made up of the demons demonic lying pathological narcissistic content how long can that stand how repetitive is that these people use terms like it's the same stuff she's using the same stuff she's saying the same things oh lord not again today's the bible tomorrow's the alcohol the next day's the pills the next day it's us that woman just repeats the same thing over and over i want to look at plain jane it's over and over and over Tammy Lynn. <laughs> that's the chocolate factory i live in jane <laughs> plainly <laughs> listen to me i'm gonna get some props for these clip channels i'm gonna find some cups spoons sporks dinnerware <laughs> posters Notebooks, paperwork, graphic design, artwork, and hold them up with their names on them. I can buy plain yogurt. Dick and Jane, the book. <laughs> they want you to get all broken up and try to buy it, right? So they'll have more content to video. It is funny. This is why it's so much comedy, okay? And frivolous, and people will eventually pass. This song here almost has a million views. Unlike them, they'll never reach this. This is why I know that someone will use Gypsy Rose. I used her for uh, Shogun's. I admit it. Shogun's. I don't need Gypsy Rose to turn my camera on. I pay the Xfinity backer. I pay my phone bill, therefore I can stream. You can have YouTube based on these elementary dear Watson truths. <laughs> you can have a PayPal like we all did. And hush with the rest of that trash. What are you people? <laughs> I'll be poking, baby. What are you people? <laughs> Listen, no job here. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> I cannot tell you, nor is it relevant yet to this said sentence or paragraph. I have no idea. The time that YouTube gave these people the ability to 1099 and monetize a channel. No, I don't. If I think I know something, that's not narcissistic. I'm just going to say it. I have no idea when these people created badges on their channels. I wasn't scurrying around one and somebody could... The only thing I know is PayPal and Amazon wish list drops. I had a cash app and closed that down. That's my banking router. That's, that's dumb. Ain't no education there at all. And Elon Musk has his cookie jar in your PayPal fools. <laughs> so quit trying to spend money and send money like you think you can do in security mode. Musk has a lot of control over it. Go back and find out when the first PayPal was. Go oh, now. Go video about that. Go click that. <laughs> the woman thinks she knows it all. Do you feel better? <laughs> I'm having fun with this here stream. This is ridiculous. <laughs> The woman thinks she knows it all. You wouldn't say that if you weren't watching me. How could you ever say that? And what are you doing there? <laughs> what we want to do is obtain the correct evidence came for a courthouse. It'll never happen, but we want you to believe that. <laughs> Who was it? Who was it? One of Angela Stevens' buddies said something one time. My thing was turned off tag. Would you like to be involved in a class action lawsuit? Yes, I really would. <laughs> the man is notorious for saying Yahweh. Well, he, he, he can tell you about Yahweh, but can he tell you about Adonai? How Yahweh came about? <laughs> that Angela Stevens friend with the red hair. Let me tell you how Yahweh came about. Does he even understand Adonai? <laughs> Next. <laughs> All right. So on Jane here, we have uh, Shannon over on Jane. Uh, okay. Uh, here's one. This is the uh, <laughs> weirdo sharing at the request of the Melissa Book of Isaiah. Yay. <laughs> I already showed the Gmails. There's nothing to see there, man. At the request of her, you mean to tell me that this Melissa freakazoid individual that came to my Gmail, that plain Jane has to do her work as a female? Yeah, that's, that's beneath my intellect, man. It is. They even tag the individual like a child. I like to tag for fun and I'll take them down, right? And you click it and you go over to her channel. And if she needs a sub, I'll give it to her. I've already shown her Gmail. Let's read her about section, right? Isaiah 40, 31. Gotcha, girl. Isaiah 40, what, baby doll? <laughs> this is Melissa, the uh, one that flipped me off. Okay, let's, let's see. Which one did you say? Isaiah 40. You never start the book of Isaiah chapter 40. There's your error. <laughs> Colossal error. It's a biblical, big time, hermeneutic error, Melissa. <laughs> Jeez, man. You might even want to... Uh, Consult the pirate clips. I say, wait a minute. I never ask the hubster and say, Dearest darling, in theological seminary school, did y'all start in Isaiah chapter 40? <laughs> the answer is nay, say the Lord. That's a cherry picked error hermeneutics. Okay, you want my content to come back up? We shall. This person was bugging the tar out of me. And this is her channel. I just subscribed to it. She's getting views because I'm in it. No other reason you would have never known about this person a day in your life unless she was chatting somewhere in my chat and me not paying attention. You never know nothing about this. Without the assistance of a grown woman assisting another grown woman. You see, that's. <laughs> Let me try to think. <laughs> Let me try to get this right. Plain Jane, a grown woman. A clip channel of it's only my channel. A channel of me needs me for her to go get Melissa to use me again. Um, 
There is no logic in that. That's, <laughs> that's Vorst. You're, you're playing Stellaris, bro. I mean, you are in a multiverse. You're playing the wrong spoof. <laughs> is this person a gamer? Perhaps. Maybe uh, we could go to Zelda. Uh, we can try other Star Wars films. <laughs> For her viewing pleasure. You would never, under any circumstance, the book of Isaiah would be after he wanted to become a discerner in theological seminary school and pick the type of teaching and preaching you would do there. Jane, you might want to consult your friend Melissa on this. You just let her know. Or go ask Pirate. And say, honey, do we start the book of Isaiah in theological seminary school? Is that where we start? No, those would be called electives. That would be <laughs> that would be called part of your major. You would understand the major prophets versus the minor prophets. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> well, we're going to go there, bro. We are going there. Yeah. The book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 31. Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 1. <laughs> The book of the prophet Isaiah, the vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, when he was concerning of Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Isaiah, Jotham, Isaiah, he said, and kings of Judah. None of that is for the dispensation of grace. That's a big heads up. This has nothing to do. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 1 is where you're supposed to begin. <laughs> I'll let you know. A video about hermeneutics. Biblical hermeneutics is what this world is tied up in religion. In every way, shape, and form. The incorrect use of isogesis telegenate and exogesis under hermeneutics umbrella, like Melissa's doing here. <laughs> to fit that narrative without being said, you gotta endorse her, because <laughs> she can't endorse herself. A um, grown woman has to endorse another grown woman on a YouTube channel and tag them and, and on the blog. On the video. <laughs> We're not having to do this. She can't my Gmail, man. Good, good Lord. This is, this is so freaking funny. This kind of material, <laughs> it's funny, man. It's totally beneath my brain. First and foremost, Melissa, you never start in Isaiah chapter 40. Your hermeneutics are all. <laughs> go ask her husband what hermeneutics are. Gone. Jane, go. <laughs> Call her up. Text it. What in the flying hay is Timmy talking about hermeneutics? Well, what does it even mean, man? <laughs> start to Google it. <laughs> She's a demon. No. <laughs> that means that plain Jane likes the demonic kingdom <laughs> a lot. <laughs> we'll jump right into the wish I could be in error of hermeneutics, Melissa. Isaiah chapter 40. You never would say chapter 40 and go to 31. <sighs> chapter 40. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith your God. Does anybody know who's God's people? The Gentiles aren't here yet. Who is Isaiah speaking upon? <laughs> That's uh, chapter 40, verse 1. If you do, <laughs> there were no chapters and verses. Melissa, there were no chapters and verses here. Plain, tell them. <laughs> Won't ask pirate, gone. Have you some sort of theological wish I could be? <laughs> Go ask the, the captain of the ship and say, yes, Tammy's correct. There is such a thing called hermeneutics, isogesis, and exogesis, and we're all doing it wrong. <laughs> Tammy does it wrong, too. She's the devil. <laughs> so Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1 says, comfort ye, comfort ye. My people has nothing to do with the dispensation of grace. It's not even speaking to those people. No, it's not. So they just pop it in there. Hermeneutics. And you know who endorsed it? Plain Jane. Plain Jane endorsed a channel with error of the Bible. I don't think any of them teach it yet again. However, she endorses you to go subscribe to Melissa, who's teaching the Bible clearly. Oh, yes, crystal clear in error. But that's okay now. There's nothing evil about that. If that's not blasphemy, I don't know what it is. You don't just pick up the Bible and say it's... But these people do. I feel that. They get mad. It's still factual. This is called hermeneutics and error. Reading in and reading out. Well, people will read in Philippians 4.13 and rip it out as if it stands. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. How vast... Oh, just, just a virus. When you take that out of context. It's a nice chapter and verse. I can do all things. Can you and I swim my Gulf Coast to the Baltic Sea? I can do all things. Okay, if you have never been able to write, and you never will, you're lying on God when you say, I can do all things. That is hermeneutic error at its finest clear, clear picture. You do this with John 3, 16. He's talking to Nicodemus in his house, a religious leader, talking in the third person. John 3, 16, Jesus speaking in the third person about himself. And the world has used this error of hermeneutics probably their whole life. And when they let somebody slide, a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. This is why they can't teach it, because they don't know this kind of stuff. Yet it is biblically, factually, realistically true what I'm saying. And they have to make fun of it. I got three under there. Because they don't know. I got enough time to be ignorant now, okay? There's, there's time now in 2024 to stop being ignorant biblically. There genuinely is. There's no more time for you to be biblically ignorant. There isn't. Isaiah 40, did you know you're supposed to just do this? <laughs> Isaiah 40, listen. Verse 31, dudes. Let me take another context. Okay, this verse here, I do remember it. We sang a song in Acadian Christian School based on Isaiah. Uh-huh. It went something like, Those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. Can't get the pitch right. They shall walk and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach me, Lord. Teach me, Lord, to pray. This was an Acadian Christian song. This was an infinite fundamental Baptist song. It was kind of pretty. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. We sang this as a song, this verse. At ACS. Yes, we did. It has nothing to do with what well, she's trying to make it, though, because she didn't read the first verse 41. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. There's no chapters and verses yet. Keep silence before me. This is 41, verse 1. Isaiah the prophet, chapter 41, verse 1, right after hers, in error of hermeneutics. Keep silence before me, O islands, and let the people renew their strength. Let them come near, then let them speak. Let us come near together to judgment. What a weirdo. Okay, they read that, felt comfortable, 
in their lack of their walk with Christ and said, I cannot read Isaiah 41 verse 1. They're notorious for doing this. These DC people want the gospel. They need it. They just don't like the way I present. I know this. They need this. Even though they have their own copy, they need to be taught. They want to be taught. They'll never let you know this. Too boastful for that. Too much pride. They want you to teach it, but they want you to be a little bit less rebukable, soften sin, omit things that's right in front of them. So this one that plain Jane endorsed here, they forgot to read Isaiah 41 verse 1. It has a word judgment in it. God forbid. <laughs> this is a nonsense they do. And plain Jane on YouTube endorsed a female with hermeneutic biblical God prophet lies. That's what plain Jane did. That's her guilt. She just puts it there because the video's me. I don't care what they do. They ain't never going to save the kingdom. I can't even get that right. Oh my God, we're going to do this for Melissa. Although Melissa's blasphemy in the Bible, it's telling that's the demon. Uh, no, never. Read on, Jack. <laughs> Goodness. They don't want that word judgment in there. They just got to stop and freeze when things seem nice and fuzzy and a teddy bear. This is how these people use the Bible. It will be unto their destruction, their own self-destruction, the error they are achieving. So I'm pretty good you shine happy that plain Jane endorses biblical blasphemy. <laughs> she did. There is no other word for it. Yes, there's no other word. Plain Jane endorses biblical blasphemy. Ding, 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 through all things. Yep, you do. Yeah. Try to get me to make a mockery of God. I'll tell you that every single time. Every single time. If I hang around lurking a little bit, I lurk a little bit and stuff, eventually, it's like I've always stated, they got to make fun of me because I can teach it. They can't. They'll make fun of the truth in here. And eventually, they'll blaspheme God. Plain Jane is blaspheming the chosen of God. Just to get back to me. I don't have to stand in judgment for that. Jane will. There'll be no ring around that. This is what you have to do. When you want to lurk around at people that came in my life, I never come in this woman's life. That channel's mine. I don't need to hear what I've already said. Stupid. And people that watch it are just clones and drones, robotic to a technological world with no mind, no discernment at all, none. And definitely 110, no love for God at all. There's no love of God in this. Prove it's wrong. Prove what I'm saying is wrong. You will never be able to. Ever. You laugh at it. Remember, you're going to pass away too. You're going to find those dubbed trips. They're going to pass away doing this. So I will look at it one more time as she endorses a video that's going to mock and defame me. I don't care. God knows what he's doing with me and with you. The good, the bad, the flesh versus the spirit. This is flesh. And they blasphemed God. Try to say, well, well, what? You did it. <laughs> when I do something, I did it. Total lack of discernment of God's word. But I'm called the devil here. No, I understand him quite well, too. He knew my savior equality, this book. <laughs> so let's recap before we move along on my channel. I'm sorry, plain James channel. <laughs> Just let me breathe when I go to the bathroom because this is ridiculous. He blasting the Lord. I'll never touch your base again. Go on. Get your own home run. Try Satan. Get your pound of flesh. Get your pound of flesh. In fact, I gotta go back and unsubscribe from that. That's blasting the Lord. I am not a uh, sub to Jane. But in order to get the money, attention, subscribers, the views, the mockery, the defamation, the character falls, the integrity lack of... Uh, okay, the picture is me. I went away. I about that. And this nut fly. I've already videoed them. I already showed their emails. I can show them again. I do not give a flying rip at all that this unholy individual, full of blasphemy of God's word, went and ran in a Gmail to another little girl. <laughs> Let's go to another girl. Tammy showed my Gmails, but will you help me? They're little children to me. They're so unintelligent. And they blaspheme God in the process. I've videoed this forever. They will do three things. They will mock what you teach. They will mock this. And in the end, blaspheme God. And they did. For a YouTube kick. Give them a round of applause. Jesus won't. Everybody give them a round of applause for blaspheming. Because <laughs> that's all Jane did. Good gosh, man. You're clear like my garbage. Okay, so I'm the one that goes around and says it all the time. I say if you don't like somebody, you're not supposed to hang around it. You're not supposed to repeat coming back. I say that. And I live by that. If you don't like someone, this is biblical. This is no longer flesh here. They are tarnished and blaspheming God's word. After that, on that note, for a kick, everybody has errors biblically because we're not the Christ. I don't mean that. No, they did it for a human kick and a human laugh and blasphemed God. That's when it's scary. It's scary. Yeah, it is. It's very scary. <sighs> wow. Really. 
Like it just got tagged by two of a kind. I've never seen a woman more attention seeking than uh, two of a kind. I feel really bad for her. I, I feel bad for two of a kind. I really do. She can't stand herself. I, I get it. It took me a little while to understand her, but anything she does, she, she doesn't like herself. Uh, she knows that what she's doing is an abomination before God. She knows this. You don't gotta tell her. Just got tagged by her because she knows I'm lying. These people watch me because they like to learn. These people want to learn. They do. They enjoy your content. They have to seem like they don't. How could they make it any other way, right? There is no logical deduction in consistent clip channels to watch you if they didn't like your content. They would never use it, except for what I always say, the realistic truth of money, their narcissistic attention that they need. They have to use somebody brilliant, brilliant, beautiful, invigorated, mentally ill, medically ill, field of Christ, low life, and we are just fine. They're not. We know this. So when it comes to her, I got to tread a little bit more lightly because I understand that she can't stand herself. She's really, she's got no self-esteem. Okay, none, none. Okay, so as we finish up here lurking around, uh, I didn't know, I, I guess I knew about some of these shorts down here, but nothing, let's see, under, is it videos? Okay, this goes back to 12 days ago. I'm surprised to say this is when I drank alcohol and went live, my error, and spoke definitely against Susan in error and definitely against uni. It had nothing to do with this lady. This lady made it her. This is what I'm speaking about. These people can't even fight their own battles. That doesn't bother me at all. No, and then I see another one, it doesn't bother me. It made them feel better. As long as they have life through me and God, they can do what they want to do. I guarantee you that. That's how much they need me. That's not a narcissist. They need me. They think they don't. I didn't bother them when I owed it in December. They just sat there and waited and hoped that something would go wrong so they could use it in their misery and try to make their channels grow off me. It's so sad. I, I, I don't even think that low. I video whatever I want to. If I lose this channel, I lose it. I don't have to worry about a 1099. I don't, I don't need somebody to subscribe to my badge. Or, <laughs> Right? If there are, God forbid, please let there be some men and women out there that can understand intellect. <laughs> I can sit back and say, the woman will never be bothered by what you do. She thinks you're a child in your mind, and they are. I have childlike behaviors, and the book of James tells us to stop being that way. Yes, he does. Christ's brother. Okay, so on this note, when it comes to Jane, I assure you, all I can do is click the YouTube community post once again. This was three days ago, isn't that irony? Oh, that is. Death, burial, and resurrection. Three. Everything I do is triangular. Let's hope this is really four days ago, because this is a... Uh, Christ wanted me to see this for a reason. Jesus. Nothing. This message here is not for Jane's pleasure. This is for Christ, who I'm not ashamed of no matter what sin I commit. Ever. Okay? There's a little Gmail here. Okay, this is how weak it is. All right? I'm just looking and lurking. So this would have been here. With knowledge I have? No. Not until now. That's me. I don't have to scurry around acting like a little girl. That's, I'm doing it right now. So if Jane receives this from Melissa, you have the same thing I videoed in the car today. Two women gossiping about me. Two women that come to me in my life. I didn't come to theirs. That is going to be the destruction in their sin unto death. It won't be my sin unto death. I have my own. I don't have to do this. I don't have to go Gmail another woman to talk about another woman and then put it up on my YouTube community post and I'll talk to another woman about another woman. This is what I spoke about today. How beneath my intellect these people are. <laughs> God, man. That's the woman who flipped me off. I believe I sit right here. Got it close to my face. Did he make fun of? Hanker. And read Melissa's Gmails. I showed them. <laughs> I don't care what that says. Godspeed. They blaspheme the book of prophet Isaiah. There's no excuse for that, man. There is no excuse. What? New Covenant. Church of Rome. There's no excuse for that. Anymore. Where and why? Dispensation of grace. Paul's sanctification in Rome. Chapter 2. Therefore, there are inexcusable, oh man. After this little sit plain Jane thingy, I I'll never think about this woman ever again. I will pray for Melissa, however. Obviously, she wants Isaiah to be part of her life. Plain don't want God. Plain Jane don't care about God. There's no videos about it. The videos are me. You can, you can just use a little cockamamie discernment and say, we enjoy making fun of you, Tam. You are the clown. I'm fine with that. That don't bother me. I think they think it does. When I get drunk, I do dumb things. I mean, I do a wreckable, good God, reprobate garbage. There's no way around that. I did it. There's no rewind. Okay, but you don't have to have women remind you of your sin. They're living in my sin. They can't understand that discernment call. They don't know that. When they make these videos about the drunken rant or anything, they are crawling in my sin. And they have no problem doing it. They're not correcting it. They're crawling in it. Stewing in the same sin, if you will, just a different way. They, they have no call for discernment. None whatsoever. It's not their gift. This is why I was a stick to person to these people. I don't care what they think about me, man. So any drunken rant vlog out there, the girls were far pleased to end my sin. What will they not do? For their narcissistic attention, what will they not do? Is the question. And the answer. They'll do anything, man. And not even see, as Christ said, you blinded hypocrite and Pharisee. I'm not blind to what I did. I videoed it. Then I spoke about it. I'm speaking on it now. It's mine. It's my sin. <laughs> and they're all too willing to jump in the aqua, man, and just swim right in the sin with me. No one is my God. Man is so... Like, like the Bible says, because the end thou sluggard, because they're, they're quite intelligent. They are the dogs going back to their own vomit. They come back for more sin. It is so much irony in that. Where they call you evil and a liar, and you do this when they know they're just doing it to do it. They're miserable. They're swimming in the sea of tranquility of my own sin. And they're all too happy to do it. Okay? 
with their friend Savage because I'm drunk and carries and drunk. This, I drank and got drunk. It's not a habitual thing. The sin, however, is still mine. What I did against mankind of uni and Susan or whatever, I said, that's my sin. They love sin. I've tried to tell you all this. I've tried to tell them this. They can't see it, man. They love to sin. This is why they'll never be in my kingdom with my Lord. They have no call for discernment. None. Zero. Even if you eliminated God's kingdom that I'm going to, despite me being a sinner, saved by grace. <laughs> if you want to eliminate this entirely, I, I won't. But if you want to, you can still look on James' channel and say, hmm, that lady sure is obsessed with Tammy. That's the truth. Huh, my subs went up. Good, I'll use Tammy again. What kind of person does it make her? In the kingdom. When God looks upon the channel, that's mine. <laughs> what does the Lord God think of Jane? I know me. I can read this. I'm a sinner. I'm going to die as a sinner. They believe they're above this. Rather, they think they are. But what they've done here is total blasphemy. <laughs> and call me whatever they want to, man. There's a reason for that. Uh, that's, that's Christ. There's a reason for that. Sure, sure there is. Absolutely. God sent me there for a reason not to just lurk. Okay? Just to teach the truth, see the truth, share the truth, and continue to move along because I lost her anyway. Mm -hmm. And we'll end that note on I don't see her channel. It's not typed in here. It is not typed in my browser. No, it's not. Sometimes if you want to see people's stuff and you're somebody like me, you have to follow the person in your browser that will carry you to one of them. I'm not like them. They want me to be. I'm nothing like these miserable women. No, I'm not. I can act just like them. There's a difference. And they all come to me. They need me for something. If they want to laugh, that's cool too. Every channel that I'm going to has been built upon other people as well. People build their subscribers a certain way. I mean, let's face it. You hang around somebody, eventually they're going to subject. If they get a laugh out of it, we've accomplished what you need in life. Laughter. It's in here. The best medicine laughter, but the Proverbs. So when they think they're making fun of me or you're laughing at me, at least you are in Proverbs. We appreciate that. Because they know I'm not dumb. They have to, every video that I've ever seen, they have to make it seem like I'm some dunce, some dumb old beta chick. We are not. No, I'm not. We're all weird. We're all dummies. We're all outcasts, if you will, finding to cast in each other just to have a YouTube thingy. Grow up. That's what we're all trying to do here. But sometimes when I get real about something like the Bible, I don't know you that. And Christ is absolutely unequivocally going to say this to Jane. And this Melissa chick who come to me. <laughs> I wonder, I don't even think I read her initial Gmail. I don't think so. It's so unholy, it makes me look like <laughs> a third of the demonic king, and that maybe, just maybe, might come out of purgatory. <laughs> Catechism, purgatory. <laughs> Catholic. <laughs> and others. <laughs> Personally, I think we all did better in purgatory. Shoot, man. The whole world's in purgatory. After 2020, folks, I think we all fell to purgatory, and we can't get the fetch out. <laughs> I'm serious, we all went to sleep and woke up and this. <laughs> Every one of us, I don't care the time zone, dude. No way I could care less. Eastern, Mountain, wish I could be Central, and other times. You went to bed and woke up in this second. <laughs> you did. Yes. Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right, sanctification once again. There, therefore, there are unexcusable, O oh man, whosoever thou art, that judgest. For whether there is judgment on another, they're, they're condemned by self. Okay? This is right after Rome's sins of 64 evil bodies. There is no excuse for what we're doing. None. No one is right. The entire planet is a sinner against God. There's no other way to put it. You want to be known and liked and seen and be a goofed Go for it. I just video. I've always just vlogged. I don't know what the fetch Jane was doing. Until now, I don't do like they do. I couldn't tell you what the fetch the basement lover was doing if you paid me. <laughs> That's the truth, man. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. Where'd she go? I don't know. She's so far down here. Okay. So when Jane here, uh, the homepage, it's all me. Because I'll be back. I'll be to my drunken stupor. Yeah. And give her the views. She's going to need her channel to stand. Okay. Anytime I video, somebody's recording it like there's a CEO of some sort of action. Maybe they are. <laughs> you know what? I'm beginning to think. But Stevens, that man <laughs> that likes to record people, may be part of the Freemasons. <laughs> I'm reverting on this discernment call on that. Uh, he, you know, he had troublesome by uh, Bacchinius and uh, the papacy. I hope he's not a Jesuit. <laughs> I think about these kind of biblical things as I vlog. It's just sort of popped in there. Is Angelo Stevens a Jesuit? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. You come out of that system, it can be scary. Because you've seen it your whole life. Catechisms, altars, candles, ritualistic garbage. You don't even know what kind of religion you are, man. It's kind of gothic. <laughs> you ever done the Catholic nature thing? I did. It's very gothic. It's, it's uh. It's just that, except it might not be black. It's gothic-like. Mm -hmm. It's like it's absolutely oftentimes like some of my games. <laughs> it is. Oh, Lord. Okay. And, uh, so we can end that note lurking on Jane, okay? You come over here and you see your importance. There's nothing here I need to hear because I've already stated it. This would be for her audience, and they can have their fun on my expense. I, I don't get hurt like that. Some people might. The video's here. Nah, none of this bothers me. It's me. I feel bad for them that they need somebody from Raymond, Mississippi. Who absolutely is not bothered by this. I can talk about it, but I'm not entering uh, a whiskey bottle because of it, or a psych ward because of it, or you know, there are some who are. There was a lady on Facebook, I can't remember her name, because she, she took and took and took a lot. She was just a Facebooker, right? This is how that rolled. She was a Facebooker, and uh, she had a good channel, good Facebook channel, and people began to find out about her past. We can know about this one. Let me see. Maybe. Well, 
I'm just speaking upon the nature of that female on Facebook that got slammed based on her past, trying to love the Lord. Yeah, there's a lot of people. A lot. They found out her past because she didn't display it. I have. There's nothing they can do to me. <laughs> Create another fine. <laughs> I'm not ashamed of my past. It's making me who I am presently. And predictably, one day I'll be with the Lord. I'm not worried about this. I'm not worried about the YouTube community post, man. <laughs> I can only imagine being with Christ, and What have they posted about me? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so you look at Jane, and uh, uh, nine days ago, three days ago, I'm on her mind. 20, 21 hours ago, lady? Three hours ago? Gosh, man. Get the views, honey, because the views, the only views that matter is God's views watching you, as well as me. Good luck, Jane. <laughs> Good luck and the inability to be go. You look like a weak female, and you probably are. And I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry that you have a channel that you could put some cool stuff on. You could be you, uh, show your talents. You know, you don't have to show all your life because you're obviously very scared of your own ambivalent life. But you could. You could take the time, like I told you, of time. Use your talents. You built your channel off making fun of me. Use it for something more productive, Jane. You know, use the Melissa who just blasphemed God. That just shows me who you are. I don't need any other evidence about you. That's all it will take is a call for discernment, lady. Do what you want to do. This will be the last time I'll ever think of you. Allow and blasphemy around your channel, as the majority of y'all do. And total blasphemy. Okay, little shorts are here. Those enjoy a playlist. Uh, 35 Tam Tam's best slash worst moments. The laughter. No one's gonna be laughing on Judgment Day. I guarantee you none of us will. I believe in this. I believe in the Judgment Day. It is coming quick in the world you live in. This will not be. Before, I won't have to worry about this when I stand before Christ. You will, Jane. You will. I'll stand for what I said that you lied on, that you clipped and contorted and changed and mocked. That will be on you. Good luck. Good luck that you needed somebody like me just to be. I'd be so embarrassed if I was you. You're not embarrassing me. None of you did. You believed that in your own hype. You believed that. What a travesty. Good Lord. And YouTube community post. Okay. On Jane's channel, 21 minutes ago. Good Lord. Transgender YouTuber harasses mom. Transgender YouTuber harasses mom and gets battered. Okay, looks like she's tagged the basement mother. With my eye deception, you know who that looks like? Wait a minute, we'll go back again. Move it. Move it down. See your body cam. Wait a minute, this is ridiculous. They look familiar. Hang on. Jane tells Shannon that she thought she might enjoy this. Move it. I'm not clicking it. I'm just waiting. Are you going to do anything to me? I guess I have to click it. Do I have to click it? I'll turn it this way so I can see better. Please turn. Body cam. Cats. I don't somebody sitting outside. I don't know what the big deal is. Uh, that's just the cats uh, messing with one another, Scotty. Oh. I'll turn the video. Oh, okay. Are we cooking? All right. Well, then I'm going to end this. Okay. I'll be back. Oh, yes, I'm going to learn. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to learn. Did I turn?